It's candy time, quilter style. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm your host, Jennifer Moore. If you're interested in sewing, we're gonna help you discover your love of it. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in that. And in this edition, we are doing an unboxing of something called the Quilter's Candy Box. A while back, I did several unboxings of the Stash Builder Box, and I really enjoyed them. And in fact, another company called Quilter's Candy Box reached out to see if I wanted to review their box. So I said, heck yeah. And then I found out that this month's box, February, was actually curated from one of my buddies in the quilting community, Susie Quilts. She is amazing. I actually met her at QuiltCon last year and we talked a little bit about her quilting journey. You're welcome to check that out. I'm gonna link it below and at the end of this video. So let's open it up and see what Susie has picked out for us for this month. First of all, I love the little washi tape on here. I think it's adorable and it's got Quilter's Candy Box stamped right on it. All right, so let's see. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this little flower. And they included a little note for me. So that's pretty cool. So, all right, let's see what we got here. It says, Jennifer, we hope you enjoy your February Quilters Candy Box. We can't wait to see, read your review. Oh, and by the way, in honor of this video, I'm wearing my donut earrings. I got it from this amazing Etsy shop, and I will also link that. She makes really cute miniature food items, necklaces, keychains, earrings, all sorts of stuff that look honestly like the real thing. So it's very cool. And because this is a sweet, video, right? We're going to do that. So let's open up the box. Oh, this is cute. I love the tissue paper. I'm going to assume this is some sort of Valentine's Day, like love type of theme. Although I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, but this can be my replacement Valentine's Day surprise, right? Even though we're a few days late. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. So, okay, the little card kind of tells you what's in it. So this is a fat quarter bundle of Cloud Nine's Cirrus. I think that's how you pronounce it, solids, like Cirrus, like the clouds. And I really like the colors. So it's got like a, like a purple, it's got like a pink, sort of a, I don't know, it's, it's like a muted, more of a muted pink. I love this color. It's more like a mustard color, more of a fuchsia color. And then this is sort of like a, like a mint, mintish green. So I will say I like that they included solids. I think solids are a little less taste specific. So I think more people are likely going to enjoy the selection of fabric. I think the colors are pretty spun on. Very cool. Oh, and this is awesome. So Su Susie actually designed this Quilter for Life pin by uh, Patchwork Threads. And I was actually interested in buying this, but when I went to the Patchwork Threads website, they were sold out. So now I don't have to keep looking for it. I have my own pin. All right, so let's try to get you out of the package here. All right, so we got the fabric and there are five, five fat quarter bundles. So, and I will say cloud nine fabrics, I believe they're, I believe most of them are organic. So they are a little pricier than regular quilting cotton. So a good value there. I am so excited about this. Let me open this up right now. Isn't that cute? So cute. All right. Oh, and it's a little, okay. You also get a little thick. Oh, okay. Oh, you get a sticker. So you get a patchwork threads sticker here. Okay. A little thank you and 25% off your next apparel order. Too bad I'm not buying any clothes this year, but maybe they'll have like some mugs or something that I am allowed to buy and a little coupon code on the back. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and put the pin on. Let's, let's go ahead and put it on. This is, they're three, they're like three little, three little spools of thread. Okay, this is Finca Pearl Threads. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. I'm actually really terrible with pronunciations, which is awful. There's white, there's like a white, sort of a lavender color. And then I would, I would also describe this color as creamsicle. I don't know if that's an actual color name, but I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and say it is. Oh, look at these. These are awesome. They're little scissors and the handles are hearts. All right, let me take these out. These are awesome. And you know what? I was actually, I feel like you can never have too many pairs of small scissors 
for whatever reasons. Like I feel like I'm always transferring my scissors between rooms. So now I can maybe keep these near the serger for when I have to cut my threads. These are awesome. Just remember though, don't run with them. It's bad. So I've noticed something about these subscription boxes. They all have these little, like, I don't know, like accordion fold paper things. I'm not sure what the meaning is and they get all over the place. So I feel like I wanna tell the subscription box people, you don't really need this. The tissue paper is totally awesome. I think this is cute, but save, you know, save the money. I, I don't, personally, I don't need these in a su subscription box. Oh, wow, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Okay, wow, this is, this feels substantial. Okay, I wanna make sure this bag is actually empty. I think this is. Oh, so I will say the packaging, Quilter's Candy Box, you get an A plus for packaging. Everything is wrapped really cute. You actually hand stamp Choose Joy on a bag. That's, that's dedication. This is a Clover double needle threader. Very cool. I actually don't really own a good needle threader, so this is cool. I'm not sure why it's double-ended, but that's pretty neat. Susie, you know me way too well. I actually bought this same pack of embroidery needles, but it's always good to have more than one on hand. So this is great. I'm trying to open everything for you just so you can kind of see it and get a first impression of what it is. I will say though, so far I like everything in this box. I think it's adorable. It's got a really cool modern aesthetic and it's all stuff that I like and I can see myself using. How cool is this? So it's a tape measure. Does this retract it? This is pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, so you pull this out. Okay, and then it stays, but when you hit this little button on the front, it retracts it. The last items in the box are actually Susie's own quilt patterns. This one is her Stars Hollow Quilt. It's sort of like a star block, but I'm totally getting the Gilmore Girls reference here. And then you also have this Sew Mojo Quilt pattern. So Susie made this series of four mini quilt patterns called Sew Mojo Quilts. Sort of if you just wanna play around, you don't wanna to commit to a whole huge quilt, you can make a little one and it's meant as a mini quilt, like a decor. She actually cuts the edges raw and then frames them which I'm gonna guess that's why she included those Cloud9 Fat Quarter Bundles because the fabric on this quilt does seem to be from the Cloud9 line. So this is awesome. I'm gonna have to try this out. I, have, I haven't tried as many of Susie's quilt patterns as I would like. I've tried her retro plaid quilt, which I will also link below and I did a little sew along video for it. That one was a great pattern for beginners. It looks a little more complicated than it really is, but it would only take you about one day to make the whole top, which is sort of the point. It's quick and easy. So let me take a look at this pattern. So yeah, so this pattern kind of shows you, oh, and there's a video. Okay, there's a, she has a little video tutorial, which is cool. So you're supposed to make an unfinished mini quilt that's 11 by 14, and it's using, it's basically using unconventional lines. So each of her quilt patterns have a different technique. So one looks like it's like curved piecing, another one's like a log cabin. Actually, I do wanna try this little curved one on the back. That looks pretty neat. So that's February's Quilters Candy Box. Let's take a quick rundown of everything that comes in it. You get a fat quarter bundle of Cloud9 fabric solids. You get the Love Tape Measure, the Love Scissors, very appropriate for Valentine's Day the Quilter for Life pin that I have put on. You get Susie's Sew Mojo One and Star's Hollow Patterns, a variety of the pearl threads and Susie's favorite Clover Brand double-headed needle threader and embroidery needles. So let's kind of stack this up against the individual prices of each item. And I'm actually gonna try to research and figure out how much everything costs, add up the value of it to see if this is a great deal or not. So the value of this is probably about $15, I would say. I don't know about the scissors. I'm gonna have to look that up. I think I got these embroidery needles for maybe four or five dollars. This looks like maybe a four dollar item. This thread looks pretty nice, this uh, embroidery thread. I'm gonna guess the value of this is at least, at least seven dollars for the three of them, seven to ten dollars. The tape measure, probably a couple dollars. And then her quilt patterns, 
probably combine these or maybe maybe ten maybe ten dollars something like that so overall I think you're at least getting the retail value of all these items with the box but I will do the final math in the description box and let you know what the tally is because I don't know offhand and I don't know if they sell these things oh yeah and there's the pin too I mean I think this pin I don't know how much this costs so I'm definitely gonna be looking this all up but that is just the lowdown of everything that comes in the box I like everything in the box there is actually not one thing in here that I dislike or wouldn't consider buying I don't buy a lot of patterns anymore just because I've been getting so many free ones and there's so many rolling around in the internet but I actually do want to try out the sew mojo quilt just to see how that goes I'm actually planning to go to Target soon so hopefully I can get that done and I don't I actually did not already have a needle threader and it's always good to have more needles on hand so I'm pretty happy with that and I think it's funny that she actually curated one item that I already own so that's kind of kind of hilarious I like the tape measure and I think I was looking at some of the previous boxes to see if I would like them or not and I actually do I'm I'm actually interested in getting the March box because I read that it is going to come with a noodle head pattern and I love noodle head patterns so it seems like each box kind of has enough goodies for one project like this obviously has the stuff you would need to make this so mojo quilt pattern so I think it's really cool that each box is kind of centered around not only a theme but a specific project that you can make so I do think this box would be great for a beginner who doesn't have a lot of supplies but also someone like me who I do have a lot of supplies already but I actually didn't have most of these things and I like it so this is actually a box that I would consider subscribing to and I'm actually you can buy the boxes she kind of gives you a preview of what's in the upcoming box you can decide whether you want to buy it so I'm actually interested in the March box and I may just go ahead and take the plunge and order it we will see but this box was sent to me for a review which was awesome I'm always up for getting something for you guys to show and give my opinions on and I'm a, so far I'm a fan I don't see any downside I, you know and we'll see I do think that this stuff does equal at least $42 for the value and if you like getting mail and you like getting surprises you would definitely like this box so especially if like everything in here is kind of modern and cool quilters candy box I give you two thumbs up love everything in here and I'm actually very intrigued by the March box what do you guys think of all this stuff have you done a subscription box before let me know what you think and if you have another suggestion or want me to try something out let me know and maybe I'll do that I do have a few reviews that I'm working on of products that I have that I do want to demonstrate and talk about also I'm doing a uh, sewing machine tutorial in the future to show you how to use a sewing machine so I'm working on that I'm on vacation this week so I am excited to film some more videos this year so I will see you later and have a great week